Welcome back, future criminologists. In this video, we will be discussing the crime of expulsion. Expulsion The crime of expulsion is governed by Article 127 of the Revised Penal Code. The essence of the crime of expulsion is coercion, but it is specifically termed expulsion when committed by a public officer. Under Article 127, expulsion is a crime committed by any public officer or employee who, not being thereunto authorized by law, shall expel any person from the Philippine Islands or shall compel such person to change his residence. There are two punishable acts under Article 127. First, expelling a person from the Philippines. Second, compelling a person to change his residence. Ito ay isang krimen ng pagpapalayas ng tao sa Pilipinas o pagpilit sa isang tao para magpalit or lumipat ng tirahan. This is the penal sanction for violation of the right of abode and of changing the same. From Article 127, we can now enumerate the elements of the crime of expulsion, to wit, First, offender is a public officer or employee. Second, he either expels any person from the Philippines or compels a person to change residence. Third, offender is not authorized to do so by law. Now let us discuss each of the elements. First element, offender is a public officer or employee. The public officers are any public officers or employee, except of course those who are authorized to do the same. Basta public officer, pwede siyang liable dito. What if the offender is not a public officer or employee? If the offender is a private person, the crime committed is not expulsion but grave coercion. We will discuss in detail grave coercion in a separate video. Subscribe and stay tuned. Pag private person po ang gumawa, hindi po expulsion ang crime niya, kundi grave coercion. Second element, he either expels any person from the Philippines or compels a person to change residence. There are two acts that will bring about the crime of expulsion. Pag pinalayas mo sa Pilipinas ang isang Filipino without authority, then liable ka na sa expulsion. Or, pinilit mo ang isang Pilipino na magpalit ng tirahan without authority, then liable ka na sa crime na expulsion. Next, third element, offender is not authorized to do so by law. Sino nga ba ang mga authorized? Only the courts, by a final judgment, can order a person to change his residence. Take note, dapat korte or judge lang po ang pwedeng mag-order sa'yo upang lumipat ng tirahan. Dapat yung order na yon ay by virtue of valid final judgment. Halimbawa, in cases of ejectment, pag yung decision ay in favor sa nagpapaalis, kailangan ng umalis yung nakatira sa bahay o lupa o property na yon. Another example, pag yung tao, liable under Article 247 of the Revised Penal Code or debt under exceptional circumstances, ang penalty po kasi dito ay disyero. Pag nakatira ka within the area na bawal kang pumasok, kailangan mong lumipat ng tirahan. Another illustration, in the landmark case of Villa Vicencio v. Lucban, the mayor of the city of Manila wanted to make the city free from prostitution. He ordered certain prostitutes to be transferred to Davao without observing due processes since they have not been charged with any crime at all. The Supreme Court in its decision held that the crime committed was expulsion. Only the courts by final judgment can order a person to change his residence. Another authorized person or agency, under the present and existing laws, deportation of an undesirable alien 
may be affected in two ways. By order of the President, after due investigation pursuant to Section 69 of the Revised Administrative Code and Section 8, Chapter 3 of Executive Order No. 292, and by the Commissioner of Immigration upon recommendation by the Board of Commissioners under Section 37 of Commonwealth Act No. 613. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and to subscribe.